Welcome back. The Department of Workforce Development says it has cleared its backlog of unemployment claims. But the I-Team continues to get dozens of emails from people still waiting for money. So, why is that? The I-Team's Kristen Byrne has been investigating a partnership the department's been using to clear that backlog. $1.1 million. That is how much the Department of Workforce Development is spending to partner with Google. It signed a contract to speed up how it processed unemployment claims. But we're hearing from dozens of people who say they're still having problems. I uh, had a brain aneurysm and I was in the hospital for like a month. Michelle Martino has good reason to be frustrated. The Racine County mom lost her job, then ended up in a hospital bed. When she got out, she found out she owed more than $2,000 to the Department of Workforce Development. All I did on my end was call and press buttons when I claimed my weekly claim. So where did I go wrong? To get this from the Unemployment Office of Wisconsin is so disheartening. Tyler Lang of Greenfield is also fighting with the DWD. He says his claims were unfairly denied because the department didn't get information from his employer. Tyler has evidence his employer sent that information. So now he's appealing the decision, but it could take months. I don't even know how to process that. To speed things up, last year the department signed a $1.1 million contract with Google. The head of the department, Amy Pahacek, told us it would be instrumental in clearing the backlog of unpaid claims by the end of the year. The I-Team obtained a copy of the contract through an open records request. It states the DWD engaged Google Cloud Professional Services to aid in the expedited review of unpaid claims. It stipulates Google would assist in the detection of eligible and non-eligible claims. Though the contract is clear that Google does not make the final determination on eligibility. I'm just being slammed now with calls from people and emails um, about just crazy problems that should not ever be happening, but are now happening. Labor attorney Victor Forberger represents unemployed residents who feel they were unfairly denied benefits. He's raising concerns about the department's use of Google to clear the backlog. He says the problem started way before that, and a complicated unemployment application process has led to people making mistakes on their claims. So if you're predicting analytics based on these wrong answers, yeah, it could very easily you know, have an exponential effect and lead to more claims, more weeks being denied. So now it's the appeals process for those who've been denied that is backed up. Last month, Pahachuk said there were more than 14,000 people waiting on an appeal. Overpayments are piling up as well. The DWD says from April to November, 68,000 people were overpaid $54 million. Governor Evers named Pahachuk secretary designee after she proclaimed the backlog was cleared with the help of Google. But thousands were still in adjudication, and the department did not count people waiting for pandemic unemployment assistance, or PUA. The DWD did not make anyone available for an on-camera interview, but the agency representative answered our questions via email. They said the analytics they paid for are, quote, tools used to help analyze, streamline, and reduce the backlog based on the information that the department has at that point. The I-Team learned the department models using Google's analytics are 75 to 80 percent accurate. As for Tyler and Michelle, they feel like they've fallen through the cracks and like the department has left them behind. It makes you sick. It gives you a pit in the bottom of your stomach that they're essentially going to delay this thing and hopefully people are just going to be forgotten. Yeah, I'm lost. I don't know what to do next. We also reached out to Google about how this process works. The tech company tells us the state controls the data and Google only processes it per the state's instructions. For the I-Team, I'm Kristen Byrne. Kristen, thank you. We have more from Tyler and Michelle as they fight with the state over their unemployment benefits. You can listen to their stories. See all the I-Team's unemployment investigations on our website right now, tmj4.com slash unemployment. Storm team